This is one of our historic cars that we look after. It's a Ashley GT fastback bodied car. The engine has just been refreshed and uh, shortly you'll see it on the rolling road. Um, this engine is a 1293 because that's the spec they have to run at for its most proper historic series. This runs in the uh, Equip and also in the HRDC. The bodywork is, uh, is all steel, uh, except for the fiberglass roof and bonnet. So it's not one of the lightest cars, but uh, the engine spec is pretty high. So it's, as I say, 1293, run the 45 DCOE Weber Manifold race manifold and system alloy backplate there it's a big valve head on it it's quite a special cam in it that uh, Neil Slark has had designed we have to run conventional rockers but they're a 1.5 ratio rocker so um, no roller rockers in here just normal forged ones but I say a 1.5 ratio Competition alternator, uprated engine mounts, aluminium radiator, no cooling issues whatsoever with this engine, with any of them, with the uh, alloy radiators that we use on them. Oil cooler, which is what you would have had back in the 60s as they've been racing them. Um, runs an Alden distributor and a very special crankshaft, steel crank, steel rods, Omega pistons, this engine on the rolling road, as you will see shortly, uh, is producing 135 brake horsepower at 8,200 RPM, which is quite a few revs. Uh, we don't run it at 8.2, generally we run it to up to about 7,500 because it's got a really good spread of torque. So stay tuned and have a look at it on the rollers now. the misfire if you look at the carbon brush it's completely not there any longer so another cap required
some final power run now just to get the graph exactly right. Running on the rollers is really nothing. 